board. We encounter it every day. It keeps our food safe and protects and promotes our products. But where does it come from? Let's have a look. We use wood as a raw material because it's renewable. In the regions where we operate, the potential of forest resources exceeds current usage. Every six minutes, a truckload of logs arrives at the mill. Every day, all year round. It's quickly unloaded and later transported to the debarking drum. When producing board, nothing goes to waste, so the bark is pressed and used for energy production. The washed logs are then screened for small rocks and other anomalies before being chipped. The chips are divided into huge piles, then transported to the pulp mill. They are screened for quality along the way. Let the cooking begin. First, the chips are steamed, mixed with chemicals and cooked at high pressure. Lignin and fibers are separated. The pulp created from the fibers is then bleached, washed and screened at several stages. The remaining chemicals and lining, called black liquor, is burned in a recovery boiler. This generates bioenergy that is used in the process. Water is essential in board production. We use surface water, which is circulated in our process and then purified and released back into nature. Now, let's create some board. The pulp is injected through three head boxes at the entry point of the board machine. Initially, the pulp is 99.5% water. Pressing removes some of the water and a paper material is created. The material then passes the three wire sections where more water is released. Water is always collected and reused. The three layers are now combined into a board, which moves on into the press section where most of the water is extracted. Next stop is the drying section, where the board is dried completely. If the board is to be used for high-end packaging, it is pigment coated. This gives good printing properties, smoothness, whiteness and brightness. During the process, the board is always screened and checked for quality with a high-speed camera. Every hour, one jumbo reel is manufactured. The amount of board produced in a year is enough to cover the earth eight times. To meet the customer demand, board for the liquid, food and beverage industry is then cut and sent for polymer coating. First, it's flame treated to burn away impurities and bind the coating. When coated, the board is checked for quality and evenness in the calendar section and wound up on a reel again. A sample is taken from each reel and brought to the lab. Here we check the thickness, strength, stiffness, brightness and smoothness. Ultimately, it's about the behavior of the board. Are the cups perfectly water resistant? Is the board for food taste free? Finally, the reels are customized and split into more manageable sizes or cut to sheets according to the customer's needs. Packaging is essential. It needs to stand up to temperature variations, moisture and rough handling as a wide range of transportation methods can be employed. The board is now ready to be shipped to the customers who will convert it into different kinds of packaging. In the end, consumers all over the world will enjoy the final product.